Welcome to the Land of House YouTube channel. I'm Seth. I want to talk to you about a PMA or a permanent magnet alternator for micro hydro. I'm here in Western North Carolina to take a look at this unit right down here. This is basically a motor that is connected to a Pelton wheel, which is a bunch of spoons or cups lined up that a jet of water is going to be pushing around quickly to make three phase AC. That three phase AC is gonna go into a rectifier sent up to charge controller and batteries and an inverter to be used in the house. So let's go ahead and take a look at this system real quick so you can see what a PMA looks like. The static pressure of this system is about 22 PSI. With the system running, it's dropped down to about 10 PSI, which is still enough to produce somewhere around 500 watts. There is a gauge down here. Now the homeowner has locked down the turbine on this nice platform, and that prevents a lot of noise from happening because the system is locked down so tight. The water enters this system through this four inch pipe and then reduces down to three inch, but has a T. There is 10 PSI here on the gauge. That three inch pipe skirts all the way around the unit and has T's that sweep in and reduce down to two inch. Now there are four nozzles on this system. Two of them are 19 millimeter, two of them are 16 millimeter. Basically it's 0.6 and 0.75 inch. And that's what has the nozzles that go in there and hit that uh, Pelton wheel that's underneath this uh, spinning PMA. Three phase power comes out of this. As you can see, there are three wires going through here, and that hooks up to this exterior wire, goes through conduit onto the house. So the permanent magnet alternator has magnets that cross over coils, and when that happens, AC power is produced. As you can see, there are three wires leaving that PMA, and those are carrying three phase AC. It takes this wire right here, and goes on to the house. The incoming line is four inch and is carrying about 110 gallons per minute. It reduces down to three inch pipe, which comes all the way around, and then reduces again to two inch pipe. And each of these four sections has a nozzle attached, which pushes the water down to a very small size. Two of them are 16 millimeter, and two of them are 19 millimeter. And that water pressure is what spins this turbine. Now, of course, you want to have as little air in the system as possible. And you also want to have a little friction in the pipes. And that's why they're using these big sweeps out here on the side to allow for the water flow without any real reduction in the pressure. And that's a brief overview of a permanent magnet alternator. If you're looking to get into microhydro, I will have a link in the description down below to Langston's Alternative Power. Langston has lots of good information on setting up hydro systems and also has all the gear and equipment you would need. So definitely check out his link down below. If you've enjoyed this video, I have several other hydro videos on the Land House channel. Be sure to check out that playlist in the description down below. I'm Seth of Land of House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.